Hi, I'm Autumn Wasmith, the ICP Associate Product Leader at Perkin Elmer. Today I would like to present the LPC 500 Liquid Particle Counter, coupled to the Avio 500 ICP OES oil system for combined wear metals and particle counting for in-service lubricant, fuel, and coolant analysis. Unlike in the past, where particle counting analysis would take from 2 minutes to as much as 20 minutes per sample, this combined solution provides both analysis in a single run at an average of 45 seconds per sample and with less than 1 milliliter of sample. This integrated system is a game changer in laboratory workflow that considerably improves operating costs. As shown here, the LPC 500 liquid particle counter is an accessory with the optical sensor mounted on the auto sampler arm linked to the multi-channel pulse analyzer, or MPA, via a push-pull circular connector cable. The MPA is used to convert the volts output by the detector in the sensor to particle counts and sizes. As far as fluidics for the system, we have the Teledyne CTAC Particle Express, which was exclusively designed to be used for particle counting. With a syringe pump instead of a vacuum pump, it provides the right flow rate for particle analysis. Now let's take a look at how we run the system. Once diluted, samples are loaded. Both the Avio 500 ICP OES and the LPC 500 particle counter are run using Synjistics for ICP software. Once configured, Synjistics should show the liquid particle counter connected icon in the status panel. A tab in the Diagnostics window has also been added to provide basic system information to log commands and responses between Synjistic software and the LPC 500 counter. A number of predefined methods have been provided for the combination of ICP and particle counting. These can be accessed by selecting New Method and selecting Copy of Predefined Method, the most often used being the In-Service Oils PC-ICP method. Once open, the Sampler Particle Counter tab contains all of the controls for the particle counter, including an option to enable and disable the particle counting analysis from method to method. If enabled, a calibration file for the sensor must be selected for the system to return valid particle count results. This tab is also where the different particle sizes can be selected by choosing one or more of the standard formats. Some fixed sizes appear, but more can be entered by the user in the additional column. Selecting any of the formats provided also dictates what is shown in the results window and what classifications are available for when the results are exported. The user can also have the individual replicates shown in the results window by selecting this option. A dilution factor must also be input for the results to be accurate. With the method saved and a sample information file created, we are ready for analysis. It is important to have all samples using the same method grouped together in the rack and for the first sample to be placed in the row closest to the auto sampler body. This row of samples and standards positions are singled out for smart stir functionality, meaning the auto sampler will first stir, rinse the probe and stir paddle, then return to the sample with the probe to collect the sample for analysis. The sample probe goes to the sample, the syringe draws the sample up the probe and through the cell of the optical sensor. While it is filling the loop for ICP analysis, the particle counting analysis is taking place. Once the particle count analysis is over, the loop is full and the valve switches where the peristaltic pump now feeds the sample in the loop into the ICP sample introduction system. During the ICP analysis, the tubing to the right of the valve is being rinsed out by the syringe to get ready for the next sample. A set of engine oil samples only analyzed for ICP can be run after a set of particle count samples, but the user should be wary of running these samples through the particle counter cell as these can dirty the cell and cause inaccurate particle counts to be reported for the next batch of particle counting samples. It is better practice to disconnect the lines from the particle counter cell and reconnect them with a clear connector when running dirty samples. Another probe can be used for an easy transition. 
An audio file can be played at the end of a sequence to indicate when the system can be switched back. When running particle count analysis, the results for each sample will be shown just after the ICP results in the results window. And at the end of the sequence, the results will be exported per the templates in the auto-export selections. Auto-export has one place for each analysis type, ICP and particle counting templates. For those customers with specific formatting needs, a specialized template can be created in the Data Manager export wizard and then selected for auto-export. Here is an example export provided by the system ready to be uploaded into your LIMS. Perkin-Elmer's LPC500 is the smallest automated particle counter available in the lubricant and oils analysis market, uses less than one milliliter of lubricant sample, and offers extremely fast sample-to-sample -sample analysis time compared to commonly used platforms in this industry. And when coupled to an Avio 500 ICP OES, this integrated solution provides wear metals and particle count analysis in a single run, optimizing your laboratory's operating costs. For more information, reach out to your local Perkinomer representative or visit the Perkinomer website.